Okay, so let's create a very simple BPMN process, which is about leaving our apartment. So I'm about to leave. Let's use a start event. We can recognize it because it has a quite thin border if you compare it to, um, for example, a so-called end event. So a start event triggers the process. This means that if we are about to leave the apartment, we will do something, which is in this case, um, checking the weather conditions. Weather conditions. So this here is a task, and after we know about the weather conditions, we will dress appropriately. Appropriately. Right. And once that is achieved, we can say that the process is completed, so we are ready to leave. And as I just said, this here is what we call an end event, the final stage of the process, which we can recognize because of the thicker border. Right. One thing that may be interesting is that, as you have noticed, I'm modeling from, from left to right. So this is something that is not necessarily the case when you're using BPMN. So you can also model, for example, from top to bottom if you like. However, it's quite unusual, really. Okay, so let's assume that we want to run this process in a BPMN process engine such as Camunda. If we want to do that, we will need to specify the two tasks that, that we have here and therefore assign certain task types. Okay, so let's uh, zoom out a bit and look at the task types that are available. The BPMN standard offers different task types. The most common ones are service tasks and user tasks. So for this example, we will pick the service task, which means that we will not you know, walk over to the window and peer at the sky in order to check the weather conditions, but we will rather let the process engine call an API service. In this case, that API service could be, for example, what the Open Weather Map API offers. So this is how we will implement this first task here. Once we have those information about uh, the weather conditions, we will ask the user of this workflow to dress appropriately. So therefore it makes sense to assign a user task to this task, which will come with a task form that will tell the user about the weather conditions and yeah, ask them to address to address appropriately. Okay, that's how it basically works. So as you can imagine, of course, there's certain implementation work um, behind the scenes, like um, specifying this service task, for example, in order to actually call the Open Weather Map API and specifying the user task form. This is something that I will not cover in this BPMN training, since it's not really BPMN specific, but more about implementation with, with the Camunda BPM platform. But for now, we will just assume that this already happened. So what I will do now is I will um, go to the Camunda task list and just um, yeah run this process. So let's do it. Here I can um, pick the process I want to start, which is in this case my simple example. And first of all, I am supposed to complete a form which just asks me where I'm currently located. So in this case, it's Berlin, Germany. And I start the process. And now we already have that um, user task here, dress appropriately, that has been assigned to myself. So uh, obviously, let's look at the diagram first. We have already executed um, the check weather service task and based on the information that we received from the Open Weather Map API, we can now tell the user what to do. So what's actually the case here? In Berlin, Germany, we currently have so-called broken clouds and about 16 degrees Celsius, which is not too too hot, not too cold either. Let's, um, let's just check the temperature in San Francisco where we have an office. Um, so, all right, how's the weather in San Francisco right now? We have a second user task now because we have started a second process instance and it's not that different after all um, with scattered clouds. Okay, yeah, so that's basically it. Let's complete those two tasks and also complete this very simple example about how to create a BPMN process.